sugar babies. It's Naya, so like I'm pissed as fuck because I just recorded all that, and then the freaking audio did record. Oh my god, I'm so mad. But like whatever. Okay, so today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a thumbnail if you didn't already know. So I use Photoshop, and um, I'm on my boy account because my boy account is much laggier, and people always ask me, "Oh, you're a boy on MSP? Oh my god, why are you a boy? Are you a boy in real life?" I'm like, "No, I'm a girl, but like I'm a boy on MSP because I can be." Okay, leave me alone. Okay, anyway, um, you wanna like take a screenshot of your green screen character thing? You can use green, or you can use whatever um is not in your um whatever it's not in your outfit or whatever like if you have green eyes or like a green outfit then don't use green use something else but like whatever and then you want to just like go ahead and do that <laughs> so i took two screenshots one of my eyes closed and then one just regular so like i can have it look like she's winking i'm sorry if you can hear the fan i don't really know whatever just ignore it but honestly you can do whatever kind of screenshot you want i already took a screenshot so like just pretend like whatever i'm just like showing you whatever to take a screenshot it's command shift 4 or command shift 3 if you want to take the entire screen and it's a snipping tool if you want to do it for like pc or windows or whatever okay what i'm doing here is i usually just like take a screenshot of a back of an msp background but you can look one up on google or pinterest or whatever you want or you can like make one yourself um or you can just like buy a, buy a background and then put it into artbook because it makes a better quality or whatever but i'm not gonna do that because like sis is broke but like okay okay when i had a pc it was like it, for some reason you had to open the image and then kind of just like drag and drop it in i don't really know how to explain it but i only know how to do it for mac mostly because i only had a piece of photoshop on pc for like a month and then i had to switch to mac basically for mac you just want to literally just open up the finder and then just drag and drag and drop it in because like i don't really know if it's different for pc because it didn't work for me and it doesn't work for ashley so like i don't really know but like okay <laughs> to first you want to like select both of the layers like and you want to right click it and you want to click rasterize layer and then you want to you want to right click this thing and go to magic wand tool and i'm going to select the green click right click and click similar and then delete on your keyboard and then command d to deselect it and then you just do the exact same thing for the other one if you want you you can turn up the tolerance to to like i recommend 30 to 50 because it just it's a lot more better like it, it'll get rid of the green more easier and then just like if you have like green spots you just like whatever just delete it if you want to i really don't care but like okay now i'm gonna select both of them and click Control or command t and then you want to go up here to the top and you want to make this 90 degrees it'll just like flip it for you so you don't have to do anything for yourself and you want to scale it down make sure you hold shift because if you don't hold shift it's just gonna um be like all distorted and you don't want that just hold shift when you do when you like scale it for me i'm trying to i'm gonna make the thing like i'm gonna make it look like she's winking so basically i just move this up here and i kind of just match it up a little bit I, you can do you can skip this if you want to if you're not gonna do this but like if you are copying this like exactly do it if you want to it's your choice but i'm just gonna so erase everything that's around the eye i guess and make it look like it's winking obviously <laughs> and just adjust it if you want to to whatever you like and then you want to select both of them by holding shift or control or command whatever and you want to right click and click merge layers or just like basically make it into one layer and then you want to double click the side of it to open up the layer style and you want to, I just, this is what I do. You can copy what I'm doing. Like sometimes I like to add um, an inner shadow. It just depends on what mood I am, I'm in. But like for like for this example, I use inner shadow and then I just like turn the opacity down. You can like check to see if you like it or not. Or if you want a stroke, you can use a stroke. I really don't like strokes. Like they look ugly and tacky to me. But like I like using outer glow like more better like than stroke. Because strokes just make it like worse quality. Um, but like if you want to, you can, um, you just do whatever you want. I use drop shadow, like for the most part, for everything. <laughs> Once you're done, just click OK. Sometimes I do this thing where like I add a highlight. You can add a highlight, contour, whatever. This is how I used to do highlights. I really don't do highlights anymore, especially because like my character already has one. But like, um, you can also add like a little shadow in the eyes. Some people do that. I used to do that. Sometimes I do it when I'm not lazy, but like you can do it if you want to. Um, this is just what I used to do. I didn't do it for this because I didn't like it. I'm better by myself. I don't need no one else. So 
so now I'm just gonna like drag and click in the background like if for those of you who are wondering yes I do add the background last because I don't know why don't ask me okay I just like adding that character in first now once you do add the background if you do add the background last like how I do um make sure like because sometimes it looks a little weird like the the layer styles on the character look weird once you add the background for some reason so just like adjust the quality um that's just me like like I said before, the voiceover didn't work, so it doesn't make any sense. But that's just me, like, showing that if you don't hold shift, then it's going to distort, like, just like that. So basically, just hold down shift, um, and you'll be fine. And then click enter, and then just move the layer under the character. Now, I'm going to, like, blur it. I only do, like, motion blur because it looks better. I don't know why. Don't ask me why, okay? Oh, by the way, um, to scale up and down, like, to move the screen like up and down use command minus or command plus um or control i really don't know what you're using but like okay now for the text you can copy exactly what i'm doing but i recommend you like do your own thing um if you want to copy exactly what i'm doing like that's fine i really don't mind but basically what you want to do is you want to add text you click t and you want to scale the thing up to like 250 300 doesn't really matter but like you want to scale it up because like if you leave it small and then like try to tra free transform it to be bigger it's gonna like be bad quality if that makes any sense so scale it up and then you can like adjust it if you want later so type in your text and press command a to select all the text and you can change the font and the fonts that i usually like using is called the bold font and i, I literally use this for every single thumbnail that i use but you can download fonts from d-a-f-o-n-t dot c-o-m you know, thefont.com, but like, yeah, I use the, the bold font, or you can use, like, different fonts, and like, yeah, you know what I mean. And then you want to double-click the side, of course, pull up the layer style, and click gradient overlay. I'm just going to teach you exactly how I make mine, like, exactly. I usually click something from, like, the background, or what I usually do, like, for most of my thumbnails is I use blue, like, this type of blue. I don't really know, like, what made me came up with blue, but I use blue for the most part. But like for this example, I just ended up using the color from the background. So I usually make one dark and then copy the color number and paste it into the other side of the gradient. And then I just make it darker or lighter. It just depends on my mood, like I said before. This is just me changing it up a little bit. Now I'm going to go to inner glow and I'm going to make this white and click ok and then i'm gonna you know adjust it you know change the choke up change the size up whatever i'm gonna make this a uh, soft light or overlay i like to do either soft light color dodge or overlay for this example i'm gonna use soft light of course <laughs> and then change the opacity down if you want to oh i i guess i didn't do okay i guess i did overlay <laughs> okay and then i'm gonna do drop shadow sometimes i like to do like, you know stroke it doesn't really matter it just depends on like i said before what mood i'm in it, i don't really know but do whatever you want you honestly don't have to copy me but i'm just showing you exactly how i do text because a lot a lot of people are asking so like i guess this is just a really specific tutorial on how i do text and thumbnails i guess i don't really know I, sh I think I should I think I mentioned this earlier if I haven't then if you've never used to Photoshop before this tutorial probably isn't for you but like <laughs> I I've only been using Photoshop for like a year and it's pretty easy like once you know all the um the the shortcuts and everything like it, it gets pretty easy now what you want to do is go back to the text tool and you want to you know click on it and you want to go to this like warp thingy and I usually do like normal warp or arc whatever and you can like change it to whatever you want to you can bend it you can even change like the, the position of the horizontal distortion whatever you can just do you boo i don't really care <laughs> you can already see that the, the thumbnail is obviously coming together already i decided to move the characters below because like once you have like long words i guess I don't really know. You can't really put the character on the side because it looks weird and you just have like big spaces on the top and the bottom. If that makes any sense, probably doesn't. But I decided to add another character and um, it's pretty easy. I'll show you how to do it in a second. But like, it's just me adding the, the tutorial part. I used a different font. I think I used Bebus, Bebus, Bebe, whatever it's called. And you know, you can just use whatever font you want to. But like, that's just what I did. And then I just did the exact same thing with the layer style. Now for this, I literally did the exact same thing. Like, I selected it. I selected the magic wand tool. I selected the green, right click, click similar, 
um, delete on your keyboard, then Command D to deselect it. And to flip it, to flip it like um, the other way, instead of like dragging it, because you don't want to drag it, you want to click Control T, Command T. I mean, and then you want to right, you want to right click, and you want to click flip um, vertical or horizontal. In my case, it's flip vertical, so it'll just like make it like that. And then you want to change the um, thing to. Yeah, this is just me showing you, like, don't do that. Um, that's not what you want to do. And you want to change it to 90, 90 degrees. Yeah, that makes sense. And then click, um, drag it, whatever. Click enter on your keyboard. I just realized that I'm two different colors on MSP. I didn't even realize that. Okay, whatever. And then I, you copy the layer style. Um, right click, copy the layer style, and then paste layer style. So you don't have to do all of that again, like what you did on the first one. Um, and I just dragged and click it on there. And then I just adjusted it the way that I wanted to. You can literally do whatever you want. Like I said, like a million times, because I'm just trying to fill in words, because I just don't want to have empty spaces, you know, editing and whatever. So I'm just trying to talk. <laughs> but anyway, this is me adding like a filter type of thing. Like um, I go to like gradient tool and I select um, a gradient. Like I'm clicking the colors of the text because I'm always yo. Uh, and then this is just me like make sure you add a new layer. Um, I keep forgetting to say that like make sure you add layers because if not it's just gonna look it's just gonna be hard to do so I'm gonna change the opacity of these it's kind of like a filter type of thing um and I'm just gonna like move it under the layers of the text because it looks neater I guess you can like duplicate it and like move it over the background that's what I do sometimes because it looks neater sometimes but I didn't do it I didn't do it for this one I showed for example and then you want to add another layer and then you want to go up to the side and you want to click the paintbrush and you want to make it big that's what she said <laughs> and you want to make it white make sure it's white and basically what I'm doing is like adding the highlight thing I don't know how to, what to call it <laughs> like I'm making it lighter on the bottom of the top uh, you can do like lighter at the top and like darker at the bottom if you want to you know you want to do that I'm gonna turn the opacity down. It just makes it look a lot more better. I don't really know. And then I'm gonna do like this vignette, 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 same thing. I don't really care. This like thing on the side where it kind of like um, is like a spotlight. I do like a little spotlight like where the characters are um, like in black. And then I just turn the opacity down. And then I um, I end up like erasing the parts of where it's like over the text because I didn't want it over the text. Cause it looked weird so it looks better like this like it looks way more neater and then i'm gonna add a new layer and then i'm just gonna make it the whole thing white um because like i just do that i know i could like this is just for a border i know i could save the border and just like redo it and like save it but like i'm, I'm lazy so i ain't gonna do that that made no sense but it'll make sense to me. <laughs> i don't know what she oh she's doing like a border okay Borders, wouldn't you just do the border once and then save the border itself as a photo? Otherwise, your borders are going to be different size each time you make a thumbnail. And then you just delete it, like you can select it and then delete it, or you can just like download one a border from Google if you're really lazy. I really don't care. This is what I do because I just feel like it, okay? And then turn the opacity down. As you can see, like the, the thumbnail is looking like way better. Um, I added, uh, I went to Google and then I added like arrows like sometimes I like to add these curved arrows and then I right clicked and copied the layer style and of one of the texts and then I pasted it I pasted it in the arrow obviously and then I just you know did that because you know I'm lazy Then the last thing that I did is just open the screenshot that I screenshotted of these like rays thing. I don't really know. Um, just literally just look it up on Google and there's like a million of them. And then I just screenshotted it and I don't know why. And then I just like turn the opacity down or whatever. And then that's pretty much how I make my thumbnails. And then you just save it and maybe adjust it if you want to. Maybe make it the way you want it to look like. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
I mean, I hope this helped you. I mean, I don't know. I hope this helped you in some kind of way. Um, have fun making YouTube videos that sounded so cringy. Why did I say that? Um, <laughs> please subscribe to Become a Sugar Baby and like this video and, you know, comment. Because I swear to God, if I only get five comments, I'm going to be pissed. Because I really worked hard on this video and it really took me a few hours to make. And I'm sick right now. Like, I'm really sick, bro. But, like, yeah. A like would be very appreciated. Okay, bye. <laughs>